This is the house on Asbury. The yard appears to be in good condition. A few weeds, but not too many. It's a nice neighborhood. I've sold many homes here. That tree line at the end of the road, by the way, there is an irrigation canal back there that's fenced off, but there's a beautiful tree line that grows along it, which is very nice. This location is very close to schools and shopping and movies and all kinds of things. Lots, of, it's a, it really is a good location. Okay, let's go inside. This is vinyl, stone accents here. Very low maintenance. Several of my rentals have vinyl and I like that. All right, let's step inside. This house had been used as a rental. Uh, it has a separate living room and family room. This living room area is vaulted. It's a ceiling fan. And it does have a uh, bay window here in the front. The carpets have all been cleaned. Um, they're, they're not new by any stretch of the imagination, but, um, but they're completely in rentable condition, right the way they are. Let's come over here. Probably get at least a couple years out of them. Maybe a tenant or two. Okay, so here is the living room in the front. Entryway, stairs. This is a main floor bedroom, commonly used for an office. It does have a box window. It appears the paint has been touched up uh, after the last tenants left. Uh, the blinds are, most of them seem to be fine. This has a door that enters into a bathroom, a half bath on the main floor. And it goes through into the family room as well. So we'll go around over there. This has a very large closet uh, that you can step back in. Crawl space access back here. On the ground there. But it's a very, a very deep closet. I've seen kid, people even put kids playhouses in there because it's such a deep closet. All right, we're back at the front door again. Stairway here, bedroom here. We're going to walk into the kitchen. So coming into the kitchen here, the window is boxed out again here, which is nice for a garden type window. Backyard, and then this is the family room. I'll go in and check that out. This is the, there's a hole in the vinyl here. Um, it may be something worth considering replacing. Vinyl is pretty inexpensive. But uh, it could be patched as well. And most people would put a table on top of it, but I thought I'd point that out. Okay, so we have an eating bar here. Built-in microwave, which is nice. Stove and refrigerator are already here. Flat top range. Double sink. Couple minor chips, not a big deal. Dishwasher is here. Again, looking back across at the family room. And then we have a corner pantry. Okay. 
does have a light. And we have our refrigerator here. Going upstairs again. Let's go and check out the family room. Again, the carpets appear to be clean. They have some minor stains. Nothing that, in my opinion, couldn't be rentable the way they are. Here's the half bath we saw from the other side. And there is nothing. Again, that's the other bedroom. And there's nothing behind the door. It's just two doors that both entrance into the half bath, which is a nice thing to be able to have access to that. We come through here into the laundry room. We have a folding shelf, storage up above the washer dryer, hookups. And then we have a double car garage with an opener and these uh the garage in this floor plan tends to be a little bit deeper it has a man door into the into the backyard which is an upgrade that's nice looks like a little bit of a heat tape could used to be put back up and taped up here's the furnace and the water heater and again there's some storage built in here as well storage here coming back through the laundry room into the family room and we have the half bath here on the right going into the other bedroom and looking back into the kitchen okay let's continue outside